Welcome to Book Time with Ryan. I am Ryan. Today we're doing the bookshelf tour. I'm very excited about this. I've actually already filmed all the tour and I realized it's too long. So instead of doing one big tour, I'm going to have six shorter but not that short videos uh, that cover different sections of my bookcases. Um, so almost like mini bookshelf tours, although they're not that that short. Um, and they're going to be themed. So each bookshelf tour will have a theme written on it. There will be a total of six. I will link to all of them um, in the description. And you can find the ones that you want to look at. You know, spend more time on the ones that you're interested in and, and less time on the ones that you don't care about. But I'm very excited about this. If you see something today that you like or that you want to hear more about, let me know. Because I'm happy to go more in depth with the books that I have. I've collected these over the years. Uh, I enjoy the collection I have. I think it's unlike a lot of what you're going to see on BookTube. Um, certainly different themes and uh, different flavor. So enjoy uh, the video and uh, I will see you at the end. These books are at the bottom of my bookshelf in my bookcase. These are really Coast Guard, Coast Guard Academy, nautical or naval based books. Uh, the first one's actually behind this. It's a Atlas of the Seas. Um, by Sylvia Earle. Um, so there's a Atlas of the Seas behind that Coast Guard one on the far left. Just huge. Barely fits. You can kind of see it there. Tide Rips, which is the Coast Guard Academy. The Coast Guard Academy yearbooks. So those are my years. Um, then there's a Coast Guard Academy book that was actually produced while I was at the Academy. An older book. And then some really old Tide Rips from the 20s and 30s. There's a little photo from my class that's in that black book right in the middle there. Um, Guardians of the Sea is about the Coast Guard. Rescue Warriors, that one's signed um, by David Helvarg. I think he did a really good job capturing the Coast Guard, but even the Coast Guard Academy. Service Etiquette uh, Manual. <laughs> it's stuff we had to learn to, to figure out what we would do at dinner and which fork to use and how to walk with women down the street. And It's probably pretty, pretty aged at this point, but... We all had to learn from it. Uh, Not Your Father's Coast Guard. There's a couple Coast Guard um, Academy directories, emails and phone numbers and stuff. Blood Saint Sea, which is about uh, the Battle of the Atlantic during World War II. Character in Actions, a leadership book. Coast Guard Expands, about some changes to the Coast Guard uh, when it was the Revenue Cutter Service and different additions to the service. American Patrol. Um, the Perfect Lady, a pictorial history of the, the U.S. Coast Guard Bark Eagle. That's the model that I showed you um, earlier. Um, so Others May Live, which is by a retired Coast Guard officer who I worked with. And then there's The Deadliest Sea. That's actually assigned uh, proof. I helped answer some questions for Kaylee Thompson. And this is about um, the rescue of a, a fishing boat in the Bering Sea called the Alaska Ranger. It's a really well done book. Like it's just very accurate the way things happen in it. I had classmates that were involved in the rescue too, and I think she did a really good job. And there's traditions of gallantry, which are stories about different heroic members from the Coast Guard Academy um, that came before me in my class. Uh, Twenty five awesome facts about the Coast Guard, which is written by and illustrated by my classmate Brian Runyon. Um, then there's Coast Guard Aircraft Guide, a book about. Coast Guard Academy Swap Summer, um, our Coast Guard Academy, uh, which is a pretty old book, um, Eagle Seamanship, which is what cadets had to learn about when they went on Eagle, the sailing ship I showed you a picture of. And then there's two smaller books in there that were guides from ships that I was on. So over here, we're continuing on with the maritime and naval theme, although there are some other themes too. We have America and the Sea, uh, which is a history about the maritime community in the U.S., a guide to aircraft, a book I got about the University of Virginia. I got it as an award for something. I don't know why. Uh, picture history of the SS United States, which is an all-metal ship that everything on it was metal, so it was fireproof. There's a book about doomed ships, different disasters, and there's also a book about uh, sh the sh Starfleet ships from Star Trek, which is pretty pretty nerdy, but it was originally my wife's. And then I took it back. Then you have the Medal of Honor uh, book, which is about different Medal of Honor recipients. Some of them signed it. Uh, my great-grandfather worked for the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad, so I have a book about that, 
which I found on eBay, but it smells like smoke, which is kind of appropriate, I guess. Um, the Savage Seas and Rescue at Sea are both, you know, obviously sea-based themes. Um, then you have The Onion presents Our Dumb Century and Our Dumb World, a family tree book that we have not filled out because we're waiting to have, I think we were waiting to get married before we wanted to do that, and then we were waiting to have a kid because we didn't want to jinx anything, so... Um, I'm guessing we could start doing that now. There's a, a directory from my grad school program, a Santa Claus book, which I, I did a video about. Um, I thought you could study uh, elves, and this book is what made me think that. Um, I found I lost my copy that I had, but I found that copy and bought it. And then there's my high school yearbooks, a shooter's Bible, just pictures of guns. Don't worry. It's not going to hurt you. It's just pictures of guns. Um, then I'm saving a spot, two spots for books about sperm whales. because I'm really getting into sperm whales right now. Then there's a book about oh, maritime disasters called Until the Sea Shall, S- Shall Free Them. The Rescue Board is about how to save Jews across Europe during World War II or before World War II. Uh, Madhouse at the End of the Earth is about a maritime disaster. Fire in My Eyes was written by a Naval Academy graduate who um, was blinded. Uh, he was a Navy SEAL and he was blinded during operations and, and how he's kind of bounced back from that. Some more of these books that are really kind of historic looking books that have these old pictures of the Naval Submarine Base in New London and then the Coast Guard Training Center in Cape May, New Jersey. Um, the sub base was right across from where I went to school. And then that training center in Cape May is where my ship was stationed out of. Then there's a uh, couple books about the Coast Guard that were from the Coast Guard. Um, there's a ghost of USS Yorktown, which used, which quoted a uh, a blog post that I wrote for the Coast Guard a decade ago, and I somehow I found my name in it, and I was like, huh, okay, I'll get that. Um, there's a f- survival guide from a relative that I had that um, was a Green Beret, and this is their, their the actual survival manual they have. So it's older. He gave that to me when I went off to the Coast Guard Academy. Uh, there's a book about the Whale Warriors, which I believe is about Sea Shepherd. Con- I think it's about Sea Shepherd Conservation Society, uh, which is a kind of a group that is not necessarily great at handling boats. They have a lot of issues with their boat handling, uh, but they try to save whales, and they have some unconventional and often illegal ways of doing that but um they're also trying to save whales so you can take from that what you will um run the storm which is about a rescue uh close to shore is uh about the real um shark attacks from 1916 a bull shark was killing people um in new jersey and that's kind of what was the inspiration partial inspiration for jaws into the Raging Sea is also about the same maritime rescue as Run the Storm. Uh, Made in America, Bill Bryson. This is actually one that my wife owned and then I took from her. She was going to get rid of it. And then Deadliest Sea, I already showed you the uh, proof of Deadliest Sea, but that's the paperback. And then uh, the last book on that shelf is All Available Boats, which is about the largest peacetime maritime evacuation, which was people being evacuated from the southern tip of a Manhattan after 9-11, the 9-11 attacks. And that is this shelf. These are books. This is my last uh, top of the shelf tour part of this. Um, these are books that were, a lot of them were textbooks from my master's program in strategic public relations. You know, there are some dictionaries here and the sources, but there's also writing guides, guides on marketing, on public opinion, measurements and crisis management, how to generate publicity, how to do market research, how to leverage different tools and um, populations. This is actually, I, I, this is a book that's not from school. It's called Damage Control, Essential Lessons in Crisis Management. And it's funny because I read this book because I was going to have a, a job interview after I got out of the Coast Guard. I didn't apply for a job at this place, um, but I was someone reached out to me and they said, Hey, we saw your resume. We really want to talk to you. And I was like, okay, sounds good. So I went to this PR firm or this crisis management kind of firm, um, which is probably used some extreme 
tactics. Uh, and within five minutes of starting the interview, um, the guy who was interviewing me, was, who was a president from the, the firm and co-wrote that book, uh, he was like, I don't think this is a good fit for you. And I was like, okay, well, I, I didn't apply for a job here. You guys invited me here. So um, it was probably the most clear no I've ever had in a job interview. And it was so early in it. Then it got really awkward because then he still wanted to talk about resume stuff. And it was just kind of like, why don't we just end this? It was a good book. I liked Mid Damage Control, but it was a very interesting experience. So that's that's kind of what's up here. It's just stuff from my area of work. I'm still in public relations, public affairs, uh, but also this was a lot of this was from my textbook. Some of these are also signed. There's also a little trumpet player there, and American and um, Uruguayan flag, and then there's a fake skull of a saber toothed tiger. Also, I didn't mention this, but there's also a little guitar player down there from earlier in the tour. So that is that. Well, you made it to the end. Thank you for watching that mini bookshelf tour. And I'm going to include uh, a link to the next bookshelf tour. Um, it's either up here or up here. I don't know where it's going to pop up, but uh, that'll be a post-production thing. Um, thanks for coming and watching this one and check out the other ones I have. Uh, to get a better feel for all the books that I have. Uh, and then if you see anything that that you want to know more about, you want a closer look at, you have any questions about, please let me know. I'm, I'm happy to answer those questions. So thanks for, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that.